imagine, like w w some of the studies, early studies done in the 50s where you have a very, very clinical hospital mm -hmm. room. The therapist has had no experience with what's going on. They give somebody a big heroic dose of a psychedelic medicine, and the person goes into terror. Mm -hmm. And they think, well, this isn't benefiting uh, a anybody. Mm -hmm. And so, and so you, it's, you've learned from, uh, from the 50s. Learned from a great tradition. I mean, sentence study has always been uh, talked about as essential, set being the patient's mindset, which, we, which you cultivate and prepare. Uh, and the setting being this, uh, I, I think, a very pleasant room uh, that's controlled with session guides. Um, these substances are very powerful amplifiers of experience. And to do it on your own, out on the street, as some kids do, or recreationally, without support, without context, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, it's profoundly confusing and profoundly dangerous and fully not recommended by any healthcare professional. Uh, when put in the proper context like they were for thousands of years, they have a purpose, they have an intention. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this has that, this study has an intention, a setting, and a structure, versus yeah. just taking it randomly f to, to get, to, to feel good, quote unquote. Uh, this is so different, a different kind of drug. It's not about to feel good, it's about to, to have a purpose, to increase awareness. That, there's an intention to it. Mm -hmm. And you're so mm -hmm. right, the setting is so, so crucial.